Hits 105.5. That was Prince with Kiss. Good morning. Welcome to the morning show. Hope everyone is having a terrific Tuesday morning, this 8 o'clock hour. I'm playing songs from 1986 because I completed the whole 1986 What Was on Billboard this week. So now I'm just playing random songs from 1986. (laughs) The local vibe with Sydney Alive is brought to us by the Moonflower Effect here in Sydney. And in the studio with me, I have Amy B. from Sydney Alive. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fantastic. It, it's the bustle of the holiday season, right? It is. You're very <laughs> festive this morning. I'm enjoying Thank that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we have today's Rotary Christmas party for all the kids in the county that nice. are differently abled. And I enjoy this is probably my favorite event of the year oh, yeah. um, with rotary so santa comes he gives gifts to all the kids and it's just it's fantastic mm-hmm. <laughs> you know anytime you mention santa here if eileen is here i know him yeah <laughs> yeah she announced our parade a couple of weeks ago and yes Aww. absolutely santa came i know him <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I saw a lot of pictures that you guys shared on yes. the Sydney Alive Facebook and, and Instagram, and it just looked like a really good night. I'm so happy that it, you guys had a good turnout. It looked beautiful. It was The weather was perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, the year before, it was like 19 degrees, <laughs> so it was terrible. Yeah. Um, I think that we all went home and just thawed for a good 48 hours. Yeah, I was going to say that. five days. Yeah, um, oh. yeah the parade is... We say this a lot. It it is my favorite event of the year because Mm -hmm. the payoff, um, just seeing all the families downtown and visiting the shops down there, having just interacting with our downtown and just seeing it and the kids smiling and just having a great time. All the businesses that go through, they work so hard on their floats. And Mm -hmm. it's just it's the most hallmark heartwarming event of the year that I think that we have downtown. And um, it's also one of our least favorite events as far as prep goes. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure I don't there's think a lot anybody, of prep. I, I, some people do once they volunteer with us on the parade day, but mm-hmm. um, it is hundreds and hundreds of hours that our staff puts into the parade, um, organizing it and getting it all ready to go. And then the day of the parade, it's a 14 to 16 hour day for us, depending on what all needs to be done, what the weather's like, all of that kind of stuff. So Mm -hmm. it it is a lot of work and um, we appreciate everybody that joins us for that event. It's just, it's fun. Yeah, (laughs) it is fun. It's fun to watch, but I could imagine because you have to orchestrate what you know, where, where the floats are going to go how you know how long it's going to yeah. take and, yeah and, and everything in between and yeah. then get all the information pushed back out to all the units and the mm-hmm. volunteers that we have working with us for the day of it's just it's a lot we we try to get all of the pre stuff done mm-hmm. by Tuesday or Wednesday and then we spend the rest of the time organizing all the equipment we need mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and then and you have that. backup plans to the backup plan oh, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, won't, I don't know that we'll ever, I don't know. We did a reverse parade in 2020. (laughs) That was the quintessential. You try to do something nice. (laughs) Oh, it was. Oh, yeah. Um. I think everything was in reverse in 2020. It was. It was. <laughs> it was neat, though. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the, the week after in our office was not pleasant with, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. <laughs> Um, but that being said, great parade, great Christmas of yesteryear at the Historical Society. The library always has their holiday open house that day as well. Mm-hmm. And they had flamingos this year. They did like Christmas in Hawaii. Um, so it was a lot of fun. It was a great day for people mm-hmm. to be out. And the new toy store downtown was open that day as well. So people were getting in and checking it out. Mm-hmm. Just... This is my favorite time of year. You know, I just saw that last week I was downtown and I saw that toy store. And is is it a branch off of the one in Troy? Yes. Didn't they? Yes. Yeah. My daughter Camille loved that store. That's where she got her little it looks like a book bag, but you put your baby in. Yeah, it, yeah, carrier. Yeah. yeah, and that's where she got that. Mm-hmm. And I walked in there with her. I'm like, this place is amazing. And as I'm looking, I'm like, oh, look at that toy store. Yes. And I was wondering if it was the same because I it just it looks so pretty from the street. I mean, how they had things arranged. And I love downtown shops, and I love that people are coming downtown. Yes, and opening shops. It's it so is. much fun. 
you know, in the Grinch movie when his heart swells Mm -hmm. super big. That's how I feel when a business opens. Yes. (laughs) And one like that, that had success down in Troyes coming up here. I love that they want to come up to the Sydney community. So she has a lot of people that come from Sydney to her store in Troy. So Mm -hmm. that kind of helped make that decision. And then the building owners there um, really facilitated getting her open and and having that space available for her. So um, I first met Allison. I'm going to say the name wrong because I always do. But Sam somebody's going to call and tell us how to pronounce mm-hmm. it correctly. Sam, Ger- I can't do it. I can't do it. Camille, my daughter knows. I'll call her. Camille, I'll tell us what Camille, it is. Camille knows. <laughs> I've had her tell me what, how to pronounce it so many times, and I still don't do it right. But anyhow, Allison opened up her store in Troy when I was working in Troy at a hair salon. Okay. And um, I got my first cloth diapers from her. <laughs> That's what she oh, used to be yes. with the cloth diaper store. Mm-hmm. So um, it's exciting to see how she's grown over the last, well, my cloth diaper baby is turning 13 <laughs> in a couple of months. But Benji uh, Carl's going to be 13. Gonna be 13. Oh, don't yes. Tell me that. <laughs> wow. Um, so it's just so great to see people be successful and to mm-hmm. the point where she can open up a second sister store in Sydney. Yeah. So lots of great Christmas gifts. If you're looking for quality toys, that um, are going to be able to be passed down from generation Mm -hmm. to generation. Go see Allison at her store. Nice. Yeah. I love that. (laughs) But things that are coming up. So December 15th, we have Santa at Cogs and Gears Game Cafe. If Mm -hmm. you've not been down there, Cogs and Gears opened up. They have pizza. Um, It's a nice little cafe. Um, And you can play board games there. They have lots of activities going on. So be sure to check them out. Um, On Saturday, every Saturday, they have coffee with comrades at the waiting room. So Mm -hmm. if you are a veteran and you want to go and just meet with other people, no pressure, just kind of hang, that's a great place to go. Um, that is every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Um, and then on December 16th, um, From Above Ariel is having Santa on the square again. So be sure to check out From Above Ariel's uh, page. They will have that information. I believe it is from, it's in the evening. So I okay. think 6.30 to I had the 7.30 or 8. I, I know. <laughs> Sorry. I had it last um, week. <laughs> but if you go to From Above Ariel's facebook page their instagram as well as their website i'm sure you can find it um yeah and then we're just wrapping up our year in our Mm -hmm. office and getting prepped for the next one so (laughs) yeah well and it's been quite an amazing like last few months that you guys have had like you've got all the things that you guys have done (laughs) and so if anybody is listening they're interested in what is sydney alive what do you guys do can you kind of give a synopsis of what you guys do? Absolutely. So we are a branch of Heritage Ohio. Um, we're an affiliate member with them. Mm-hmm. And what they facilitate is Main Street America. And um, it's nonprofits across the country that are geared towards revitalizing our downtowns. Mm-hmm. Um, our downtowns in the last 30, 40 years saw a really high increase of vacancies and people moving out of the area um, with the big box stores that came into communities at that mm-hmm. point. So um, our focus is really just facilitating getting businesses back open that are local. Um, I don't know how many of you have sports teams that are sponsored by Walmart. Mm-hmm. You don't. It's our local businesses that put Mm -hmm. all of that money back into our community. So it's important that we have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's a hard time right now for all of them with the increase of everything um, cost wise. So supporting them now is more important than it has ever been. Um, But our our job is to help market that and Mm -hmm. recruit new businesses, help facilitate and advocate for them um, and then put on community events because those community events is where we get that foot traffic to come downtown and see Mm -hmm. that they have, we have things going on. We have new businesses, we have new arches, we have new lighting. And, you know, people don't go downtown because for the last 30 years or so, Mm -hmm. they've been conditioned not to. They drive out to the West End of Sydney and do all their shopping and get their groceries and and do all of that. If they're coming downtown, it's rare Mm -hmm. um, to go to the bank or the post office. And that's about it. And um, we're we're here to change that. Yeah, I love that. (laughs) And I work downtown when I first moved back to Sydney. And the one thing, there wasn't that many restaurants. I mean, I, I, 
I love the spot. I'd go there every single day. Mm -hmm. I didn't care. But I came from a bigger town that had more more options. And now somebody moving to Sydney, you got all kinds of options. Yeah. And it just keeps growing. And I love the vacant buildings that are now getting revitalized and like yeah. the toy shop. I love that corner space there. I always have. <laughs> and so when I saw that last week, I was like, oh, yes. I yeah. love it. I just love it. And I think that um, if you if you're on social media, you see a lot where people are um, saying things like, "Well, the the businesses downtown are for rich people," or or mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Um, I think what we're missing also is that we had a, a gap in fine dining, mm -hmm. so um, providing an opportunity for people to to go out and have a, f a fine dining experience mm -hmm. um, is something that we hadn't had in our community. The bridge was, was about it. So, mm -hmm. and you know, they're booked all the time. Yeah. It's hard to get in there on a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so um, people were traveling outside of our community and spending dollars outside of the Sydney and Shelby County area. So mm -hmm. our focus is to get people to stay in our area and choose their hometown. If they're going to go out for a fine dining experience. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, um, price wise, Unless you're getting the four for four at Wendy's, if you're yeah. getting a regular combo, it's the same as going to Murphy's mm -hmm. or the bridge, you know, getting one of their um, meals that are moderately priced. Mm -hmm. You're not spending that much more. No, it, it's just a perception that you're that you are, but you're not. Mm -hmm. um, no, and you I can always find dine for inexpensively. In downtown yeah, Sydney. you can. And I, I always say anytime I've gone into any of the restaurants at the bridge, Emilio's, any of those, I think, because I love New York City, I'm like, I feel like I'm in a New York yeah, City restaurant. Yeah. And that's the, that's what they're going for. And I love it. And it's right here in yeah. Sydney. And, and having those options has changed our community. Mm -hmm. It really has. And, um, so I hope everyone continues to support them, our retail businesses. Mm hmm Coming up next year, we're going to do our retail and restaurant weeks. So that'll be at the oh, nice. end of uh, January into the 1st of February. We'll do two weeks of that. And then um, also our prom dress, formal wear consignment. We have wedding gowns, all of that. So that'll oh, start fun. January 2nd as well. So yeah, we get a small break. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> But we and go right back into it. You can, down, you can find them on Facebook, the website, and you can download the Districts app. That's what I do. That came mm -hmm. in handy. That always comes in handy because I look up and I'm like, okay, what am I going to talk about? All right, I'm going to district. Yeah. So yeah, I love that app. And there's so many features on that, even for mm -hmm. our businesses that are in the downtown district. So we're still learning as well. You know, once mm -hmm. we get into event season, it's just crazy. Our event season keeps getting wider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh, I bet. Um, but we'll do some training on districts app as well mm -hmm. and, and utilizing a lot more of their services. So mm -hmm. download it if you haven't. Yeah, do. I can <laughs> and I can navigate a little bit, but I'm going to learn more from her cuz Amy has taught me how to use Outlook on my email. Anyway, that was a long time ago. <laughs> and also I have to say that I, I know where you the negativity as far as like the rich people. That's from that Facebook page, that awful one. So, let's let's keep Aww. saying positive stuff. <laughs> it, it's very interesting to me the it audiences is. that that people are yeah. Privy to. Yeah, it is. Sometimes <laughs> it's a fun read, but when they when they say oh, negative things, it's not it's fun. so entertaining. But I, <laughs> I, I see it and I can promise the public mm -hmm. that that information is either skewed or absolutely wrong. And, oh, and I will say that most of the people that comment with certainty on a lot of those posts have never spoken to me. <laughs> Or anyone in my office. So their their information is not from the source. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's usually with everything. Exactly. Yes. I, I, it's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming in this morning. It's been a minute or five since I've seen you. Yes. So it's been great to see you. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. And well, I'll see you next week. I was going to yeah. say, I'll talk to you next week. We'll see I was going to say, week. Merry Christmas. But no, I'll see you next week. Yep. I'll, say, I'll save that. <laughs> All right. That was The Local Vibe with Sydney Alive brought to us by the Moonflower Effect here in Sydney. And remember to shop local because we got some great stuff downtown. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. Coming up next after a short break, we got your local weather. It's Hits 105.5.